we are out here in Arizona in the New River area. We're on Table Mesa West. So we decided we have time to kill today. So we were going to go ahead and flex Black Betty and Blaze and uh, see how he does on a four-wheel drive trail. So we're gonna we're gonna play around. There's some mud, there's some big deep holes. You can avoid them if you want to, but we're gonna go and flex out Black Betty and Blaze. We're gonna get some killer shots for you guys on Instagram. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna see if we can push our limits a little bit more than we've been able to so far. <laughs> I'm not even out at four high, so we're just cruising around the trail, having a good time. I wonder, we probably could even do this without four, being in four-wheel drive. Yeah, you Most could, of this, you, actually. You could do, well, at least so far, you could do most of this in two-wheel drive if you know how to drive. Yeah, <laughs> if, you, if you place your tires well, you could do this in two-wheel drive. So, this is a fun trail. Good for us to flex around on, play on some rocks and boulders some deep mud holes and uh yeah we're already noticing that um when the tank is full it starts to leak out the overflow valve when we go up and down hills <laughs> no when we're going down a hill yeah or the trailer's on a super angle towards the driver's side the uh water likes to pour water out. likes to come out of the overflow <laughs> so you know but yeah there's a lot of uh, jagged rock climbs, so you better have some good tires. Or your highway tires are gonna get chewed oh. up a little bit. Kinda like ours did on Black Betty <laughs> before we got new tires. <laughs> but this is the stuff we love, going out, finding a good four wheel drive trail. Love that we get to go out and have some fun on these nice and easy to moderate four wheel drive trails. We don't unhook Black Betty from Blaze. So we just tow on through. Everybody else that's out here is just in their single vehicles and they gotta go back to their campsites, which is which is fine. But we got Blaze specifically because there's tons of campsites out here. That we would prefer to be at. That we would prefer to be at, way away from the people. So that's what we're doing.
All right, guys, so it's a really good idea to always get out and scout when you can't see ahead of you. Because up here, there is a gate that is locked. And uh, if we'd gone down there, we would have been stuck because there's no place to turn around down there. So, Jeremy is backing us up and uh, we're gonna turn around and head back a different way. Well, we're still in Table Mesa. We found an acceptable campsite. Basically somewhere we can get levelish or level enough. We're gonna catch a beautiful sunset. We'll time lapse that for you guys. But uh, we also have four bars of Horizon. Which means I can stay here all week for work. Which is good because we want to hang for at least a week. Probably a lot more than a week. Boys are up top. Already getting the tent squared away. It's ready for me to pull the ladders down and flip it since they're not tall enough. <clears throat> Kelly's getting the kitchen out, getting the food rolling. I think it was decided we're having carbonara. Good stuff. We have been on the trails all day long since like 7 this morning and it is 4.30 now. Did excellent. Didn't touch. The bikes on the back was my concern when we dropped down some of the shelves that the bike tires would touch. But we had at least 6 inches on the worst one. And we're planning on buying a 4 inch riser or a 6 inch riser hitch. To get the bikes up another four to six inches and then we'll never even think about it again the only problem we had and i'm gonna see if i can't find a way to fix it is our uh <clears throat> every time the nose of the trailer is pointed downhill pouring water out of the overflow I'm going to see if I can't put something there to stop it because we lost at least five to six gallons of water, which is a big deal. It's a very big deal, especially if we're trying to stay out here for two weeks. There's six of us. We go through average about a gallon of water per day per person. For us boondocking, water is valuable. So I'm going to see if I can't figure out how to fix that water leaking out of the overflow that way we don't lose anywhere from three to six gallons but other than that we found a really good campsite we've already cleaned up all the trash and the glass that was here that way the boys can race around and always always i know it's not our trash and i know it's not your trash but we want these places to stay open Bring an extra trash bag. They're closing so many of them out here. Putting fences up. Even out here in Table Mesa, they're closing a bunch of places off for just so much glass and trash. So bring an extra trash bag or two or three and clean up the site that you're in. One, it looks nice. And two, you're helping do your part. We're gonna get dinner moving and enjoy the sunset. Well, I hope you enjoyed the sunset like we did. Our dinner's almost done. Good job. 
<sighs> it's getting a little chilly. It's not going to freeze tonight, so we don't need to drain our water or anything like that. But dinner's almost done. We're crisping up the bacon. The pasta's already done. Just a simple carbonara recipe. Doesn't have any raw egg in it, but it does have cream cheese. So I guess it's technically not carbonara, but that's what we call it. Hope you enjoyed the four wheel drive and uh, our campsite and a little bit of a sunset. That's it for this video. We'll see you in the next one. We're on to the next adventure. This is the only concern we have is the bikes. Every single time we go to a uh, drop off, we have to check whether or not we're gonna hit the bikes. You're totally fine.